Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Java GUI tutorial. This is the 31st um, tutorial, and today we are going to make a pretty interesting program. Um, it's going to be another multi part series, probably two or three. And what we're going to create essentially is a program that we're going to kind of extend off of what we learned last time with a timer thing. So we're going to make a program that when you cl you can enter how many seconds you want to um, do um this action and then it's going to count down and you're going to be able to click a button and see how many times you can click in a certain amount of a certain period of time so it's going to be pretty cool so anyways let's just get started again i guess um see all right 54 seconds um so we got your imports here i'm going to minimize them and all right so we're gonna need a lot of objects at the beginning. Um, make a timer and just call it timer. Make an int and call it timer counter. And that's gonna count the seconds of the timer. That's gonna be decremented. Um, make a another int and call it click counter, and that's gonna count the clicks that the user makes on the button. And we need some labels. Call it one called directions. Uh, enter time, click label, time left. Um, need some buttons. One's gonna be called start button, and the other one's that's the button that we're actually gonna click on. And then just one text field, and just call it text field. And a menu bar, and it's gonna have two functions on it a reset and an exit. So, menu bar. Um, reset and just exit. All right. So let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen things that we're gonna have to do something with. So quite a long program, as you can already tell. Um, I don't know. I've, I've written this program before. I have it pre-written, so it's like about 155 lines of code. Alright, so now we have to create the container pane that we're going to have a couple panels in. Inside those panels, we're going to have our components. So uh, let's do container pane, let's um, this, get content pane, and set the layout. And we're just going to use grid layouts again because they're pretty simple to understand. And I would be using grid bag layout, but honestly, Whatever you can do with grid bag layout, you can just do with um, this, just by using panels, and it's, it's a lot easier in my opinion. Just do a little bit of padding in there, just to neaten it up. Alright, now we're going to make the menu bar. So, menu bar is easy. Let's see. Three minutes, alright. So, menu bar, to me a J menu bar. And then we need our reset thing, so that's gonna be a menu item. Uh, let's say reset, and then add that to the file menu. So file that. Add res whoa, reset, and then exit. I'll say quit, and then say. Alright, so now we're going to um, just declare our classes ahead of time for a reset and exit actions. So, um, I actually learned something today that it's not necessary, but that your classes in Java should always be um, capitalized at the beginning. And then, so like, instead of doing like 
normally I'd probably do like reset class, but now I learned that's supposed to be like reset class like that. So I actually didn't know that, but well, I learned something new every day. And for my uh, like uh, object when name it, I usually just call it the first the the capitalized letter. So in this case, it would just be R C lowercase. And in case you're wondering what this is, it's kind of like our normal what we do like er, event e thing. So this is just for the reset class. So reset class R C new reset class, and then add an action listener and R C and do the exit class. Alright, so now, let's see how much time. Alright, four minutes left, so. Let's see, why am I getting an error here? J menu. Oh, new. Alright, so we're just getting the errors here, but they'll be, fi they'll be resolved later on. Um, so now we're going to create the top J panel, and it's only going to have um, one component in it, so it's going to have a good layout of 1, 1. I suppose you could just flow layout also, but whatever. So, J panel, top, and set the layout of the top panel. Oh, 1, 1. Alright. Now, directions, that's going to first label, and that's basically just going to tell the user like, what they can, what to do, and like how to operate the program, very simplistically, so, directions, and this is going to run off the screen, but um, you'll know what I'm typing here, so, enter time, and then press, press, um, start, and then press, Clicker, clicker, repeat, and Lee. And oh, I guess it won't go off the screen. I'll just here. I'll make it easy. I'll just go down the line. I guess. Press clicker. Why the heck does it always do that? Um, press clicker. Ugh. All right, no man. I have to go over to a new line, uh, just stay in this line. Press clicker, um, repeatedly, and then I'll tell you what I'm typing right now. I'm pressing, um, I'm closing the quotes, I'm putting a comma, and then I'm putting, um, I'm putting swing, constants, and then putting center. And then I'm closing the parentheses, and I put in a semicolon. I mean, you can only see up to like the CO and the constants, but it just says swing constants, dot center, um, close the parentheses, semicolon, and that's it. And then go to the new line. And that's the only line in this program that's actually going to go off the uh, recording screen. So, um, then top, and then add the directions. And pane, add the top. Alright. And. Whoa. Um. Oh, alright. Alright, now we need to make our middle J panel. So, panel middle, let's give a new J panel. Set the layout, and it's gonna be, um. This one's gonna have three components in it, and I want it three wide, so one, three. Alright, and then middle site layout. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go to the next uh, tutorial, uh, next video now. So it'll be part two in the series, number 32 overall. So see you there.